Hi folks, welcome back to Math with Captain Rod. The purpose of this video is to uh, describe what an average function value is over a given interval and to uh, talk about how to calculate it. So the function we're going to look at in this example, I just made up kind of a nice easy function here, y equals x squared plus 2. That's a parabola, opens up, uh, goes through the point, and, and the vertex is at the point 0, 2. So here's kind of a rough sketch, and we're just going to investigate this parabola on in the region between 0 and 2. So this would be the point 0, 2. This would be the point 2, 6. I'm getting that from 2 squared plus 2. All right, and now average function value. Now you'll notice that f of 0 is 2, f of 2 is 6. You might think, well, maybe I can average those, uh, average the 2 and the 6, which is 4, to get kind of an average value in this region. And although that would work if this were a linear function in between them, it does not work in general. And the reason is if, if you kind of look at, you know, like here's one here, f of one is three. You notice that in general here, uh, the function is increasing in steepness. So basically the average function value has to be a little bit more than three. It might be 3.5 or four or something like that. Now graphically, Here's what the average function value would mean. I'm going to draw this in red. The average function value area is some number, right? and I'm going to call that number f bar here. In mathematics, a bar over a value is, is the mathematical way to say average. It's the value that, if it were constant, give me a moment here. that this area right here in red, would be the same as the total area bound under the curve here, which I'm gonna do in green. Now, the area in red is the average function value times delta x, which is two or I should say, you know, just basically length times width, it's a rectangle. And the area in green, we're gonna go ahead and calculate. So I'm gonna get rid of these off my graph here. So the average function value uh, is found basically by concepts of area. First, I'm gonna talk about the area of that rectangle that I just had. The area of that rectangle would equal the average function value, whatever that is, times this horizontal distance, which is two. And that has to be equal to the bound area, which I'll kind of highlight in green, all of this stuff, which we can set up with an integral. Uh, first, we draw our differential element. Always draw our differential element. So here's my rectangle. The rectangle has a length equal to the function value, x squared plus 2. It has a width equal to dx. Right? So this is length times width. So this product represents the area of just this little rectangle right here. And then you have to imagine to get the total area, you have to add those all up as that rectangle basically moves from left to right. So in the language of mathematics, that's an integral. Or, oops, let me draw that in black. It's a summation. Again, this symbol is called the integral symbol, but it also means uh, infinite sum. We're summing over x. The smallest value x can be is 0. And you got to imagine these rectangles as they move left to right. The largest x can be is 2. So what I've done here is I've basically written an equation which will allow me to find the average uh, function value over this region. So I'm just going to write f bar times 2 equals. Now on the right-hand side, this can be evaluated reasonably easily. X Integral x squared dx is x to the third over 3. Integral of 2 dx is 2x. And again, this would be evaluated from 0 to 2. So this is going to equal 2 cubed over 3 plus 2 times 2. There's the top limit minus the bottom limit is just 0 plus 0 by the time we put zeros here and here. So next line, average function value, oops, not a vector symbol, average function value times 2 equals, let's see, 8 thirds plus 4. So what that's going to simplify down to, which is going to be 8 thirds plus 12 thirds, 20 thirds, I believe. 
And if we just divide by 2 now, average function value is going to be 20 over 6. What's 20 over 6 as a decimal? Somebody run that. Um, I think that's... What's it come to? 3.33. Thank you. About, I'll just put approximately 3.33-ish. Ish is a technical term for... Um, second decimal point. All right, so again, if we look back to the original problem and we look at the F point or the end points, F of zero was two and two was that distance. F of two was six, which was that distance. So the average function value just by looking at our picture is somewhere between two and six. You notice you can't just average the two and the six and that's because the function when we're over to the right of two, it's, it's growing faster and faster in this region. So um, we calculate the average function value right, by one defining it as the value such that this area is the same as this bound area in green. Right? And that's what allows us to set up this equation right here. So I hope, that, hope this video helps demonstrate what an average uh, function value is and how it's calculated. Have a great day.